Hey guys and welcome back. In this section, we'll talk about the Angular's application bootstrap mechanism. Uh, there are uh, many ways in which your application can be bootstrapped depending on how you want to compile it and where you want to run it. Okay, um, there are basically two types of compilations that uh, that an Angular application can be compiled into. Um, first one is the just-in-time compilation and the second one is the ahead-of-time compilation. Um, now, I've read uh, somewhere that by default for Angular 5, the ahead-of-time compilation has been enabled, but I'm not really sure about that. So, in uh, for the scope of this tutorial, we'll just uh, use the application uh, to dynamically compile using the just-in-time compilation. And uh, then you can have a look at uh, how the ahead-of-time compilation works. Uh, I'll have a link to the ahead-of-time compilation document uh, in the description below okay so our application has two basic entry points the main.ts file which is the entry point for the javascript or the typescript part and the index.html file that is the entry point for uh, templates okay uh, each and every angular application needs a browser platform uh, for its just-in-time compilation to work on and an execution environment in which our angular application can run Okay, so um, If we have a look at the main.ts file Which is the entry point for the TypeScript part or the JavaScript part? Um, we will see a call to the platform browser dynamic method that generally creates um, a platform on which the just-in-time compilation can work or the compiler can work on okay and then uh, that uh, creates a method that can be called this is the bootstrap module method to which we provide the root module of our application that we want to bootstrap okay now in the app module let's go to the app module quickly we have specified that we want to start with bootstrapping of app component okay so what angular will do is angular will uh, go ahead and have a look at the component class so it's right there and in here we have the selector for this uh, component named app hyphen root okay and then we also have the template url for this particular component which is app.component.html which is right here okay so um, what angular will do now is that um, once it is done with the compilation and it is about to bootstrap the app module it will have a look at the index.html file okay and then it will see this app hyphen root tag okay now we have specified that we want to bootstrap uh, the app module uh, starting with the app component okay and the app component selector is this which is also added to the index.html so now what angular will do is angular will um, fetch and compile the template of this app component that is this okay and then it will inject this components template inside the opening and closing tag of the selector of this app component okay that is in between these two tags okay so if we say start to run the project by using ng serve and give it some time to uh, do the compilation and uh, everything that ng serve does before uh, it serves up all the files we'll see that once the application serves uh, and we inspect the HTML document for this particular tag we'll see that all the template that we can see here is Encapsulated or wrapped inside the app hyphen root tags Okay, so it all starts with the main.ts file wherein the platform browser dynamic uh, Creates a platform in which the just-in-time compilation can run and it also creates an environment in which we can run our application Okay it exposes a bootstrap module method that uh, that helps us in bootstrapping the module 
we specify the module that we want to instantiate and that would generally be our root module that is the app module inside the app module we have the bootstraps array where we have specified that this is the particular component we want to start with so this would be the root of that um that tree of components uh, as we get, as we have already discussed every angular application is uh, can be visualized as a tree of components so the root of that tree would be this app component which is present here and then in here we have specified the app selector that would be present inside the index.html so what angular is going to do now is it is going to um, fetch the template from this template url that you have specified it will compile that template and then it will inject that compiled template inside this app hyphen root tag okay so let's just uh, wait up for ng serve to run okay so it has compiled the application and it has generated these files here these five files okay so this is basically the bundle that i was talking about uh, when i was uh, when i was talking about uh, what single page applications are i'll have a link, a link to that video as well in the description um but this is the application package that will get generated once the application is uh, uh, compiled okay so now i can uh, go to localhost colon 4200 on my browser okay and uh, this is the application that is uh, being served right now if you have a look at the network tab and all these are all the files that are basically uh, fetched okay let me just hard reload this by emptying the cache and as you can see these are all the bundle files that uh, gets fetched and the size of these files isn't uh, very big as of now okay so um, now again this this bundle that gets generated is right now for the production uh, or is right now for the development environment uh, but it it is something that can again be optimized for any particular environment that we want to um, target that particular build for okay so the size in that case might vary from one environment to another okay uh, but yeah i guess this is all uh, that i had regarding the application bootstrap mechanism of angular uh, in the next section, uh, we'll talk about uh, components and how can we create them and various other things that we can do with components. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.